Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zan Karim and I am here to teach you physics. Due to uh, the problems we are facing, we have to study online. And this is our first lecture of online of class 8th physics. So, we start with the introduction. Our first topic is introduction to physics. But before entering into this topic, first of all, I would uh, repeat some things which you have already uh, studied. The first topic is science. Many of you do not know or just heard the name of physics, chemistry, biology, geology, etc. Before this, there was only one discipline, uh, discipline uh, which was science. Uh, by definition, science is the study of the nature and behavior of natural things and the knowledge that we obtain about them. Basically, each and everything in your surrounding becomes science when you observe them. At the beginning, when science was the only entity, scientists observed that a single branch or a single discipline is unable or they cannot master or a single person cannot master science itself. So they divided this science into multiple branches named physics, chemistry, biology, geology and many more. So our basic concept or our basic perspective would be physics. As you know that there are many, uh, a single entity can include in many branches. So how we are going to differentiate it? I have prepared an example. For example, we have water. If I am talking about physical properties of water, what are physical properties of water? For example, its color, its taste, its smell, or its boiling point, its melting point, these are all physical properties or physical things according to water. These things would be studied in physics. If I am talking about the construction of water, from which elements it has been uh, developed, or what are the properties of these elements, then it would be studied in chemistry. Water is known as H2O. You would study these things in chemistry. If this water goes into human body, how does this water decomposes or become the part of a human body? This would be studied in biology. If we are extracting the water from earth, then it would be studied in geology. Here you can see that a single entity, a single example can be placed in any of the branch. But the difference is you have to clear your vision from which perspective you are looking the object. If you are looking water from physical properties or physical aspects, then it would be studied in physics. If you are st studying about its chemical bonds, then it would be studied in chemistry and so on. You have to understand these things. It would be in your vision that which branch you are studying. Now, our main focus would be physics and uh, we would see. Uh, let's start from the history. The word physics comes from the Greek language or it is physics is a Greek letter which generally means nature. Uh, if we see definition from book, it states physics deals with matter, energy and their mutual relationship. What do you mean by mutual relationship? It means the relation of matter to energy and the relation of energy to matter. Their relationship of each other is known as mutual relationship. We study about matter, energy and their relationship with each other is studied in physics. There are some different examples I have taken from internet. For example, 
physics is the study of fundamental laws of nature when we study laws of nature it would be studied in physics physics deals with the behavior and structure of matter now after scientists have uh, passed uh, many years uh, reading physics or working on physics they come to a conclusion that even a single physics or chemistry or biology cannot be 100% understood or mastered by a single person. So they further divided these single entities into further branches which are known as branches of physics. So the first uh, we are going to see all the branches of physics. The first branch is mechanics. It deals with the causes and effects of motion what do you mean by cause how the motion has been produced and effect means what happened if motion is produced in a body for example if we are pushing a car the cause is our hand which is pushing that car and the car would start moving that would be its effect the second branch is heat it deals with nature and effect of heat and mode of transfer nature of heat basically there are many types of heat heat which is generated by oven is of other nature heat generated by burning fuel is of other nature heat created by burning coal is of other nature so all these natures are studied in this topic effect of heat <coughs> what would be the effect of a heat on a particular thing if we uh, put fire or heat on a wooden object it would burn but if we put this fire on a metal it would heat up and mode of transfer how heat can be traveled from one place to another next one is sound it deals with physical aspects of sound as i have already told you that we are going to study physical aspects or physical properties of things so in sound we deal physical aspect of sound waves their production how they are produced their properties and the applications of where they are going to be used applications involved creation of all instruments for example guitar piano these are the applications of sound next one is optics which is generally known as light it deals with physical aspects of light its properties working and use of optical instrument optical instruments generally known as all those instruments which use light or from which light passes a simple glass which you wear on your eyes is also an optical instrument you have seen laser devices they are also known as optical instruments you will find a lot of other optical instruments in your surrounding next one is electricity and magnetism it deals with charges at rest and in motion their effects and relation with magnetism charges at rest means electrostatic which you would be reading in 10th class charges in motion is known as electricity same topic would be dealt in 10th class in more detail their effects and relation with magnetism what is its effect and relation with magnetism it would be uh, studied further on atomic physics deals with structure and properties of atom remember you have uh, already studied atomic or atom uh, things in chemistry but if we study about their structures and properties it would be included in physics next one is nuclear physics it deals with the physical properties of nucleus of different atoms plasma physics uh, coming back to nuclear physics remember that there is a word in your book known as nuclei 
do not get confused nuclei is plural of nucleus when there are many nucleuses they are known as nuclei so do not confuse get confused on this word plasma physics it deals with the fourth state of matter what is fourth state plasma state uh, obj an object which is neither in a solid nor in liquid form is known as plasma next one is geophysics it deals with the internal structure of earth here we complete our branches of physics now we are going to see our homework first of all you have to read the passage involved in the topic which includes page 2 page 3 and page 4 then after reading these topics you have to write the answer of quick quiz which is given on page number 4 in your neat copies when you read this passage you would get a would be able to answer this quick quiz it is very easy then you have to memorize all the branches of physics which are given on page number 3 they are the most important topic and they almost carry three to nine marks in paper always or mostly after memorizing you have to write all the branches of physics same page page number three on your neat copy and remember that your work should be neat and clean or it would be repeated after school reopens thank you Allah Hafiz